Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Tech Info Boost. Today we are going to learn about Bootstrap and the official website is getbootstrap.com. Now let's start. I am going to open this setup folder in which I have kept my today's presentation. Again, welcome to Tech Info Boost. So today's agenda is what is Bootstrap? How to download Get Bootstrap? Why use Bootstrap? Basic use of Bootstrap elements or components. Now we are going to see what is Bootstrap. Bootstrap 4 is the newest version of Bootstrap which is the most popular HTML, CSS and JavaScript framework for developing responsive mobile first website. Bootstrap 4 is completely free to download and use. It is the world's most popular framework for building responsive mobile first sites with Bootstrap CDN and a template starter page. Now we are going to see what is responsive web design. Responsive web design is about creating websites which automatically adjust themselves to look good on all devices from small phone to large desktops. Now we are going to see how to download or get Bootstrap. Download Bootstrap to get the compiled CSS and JavaScript source code or include it with your favorite package manager like npm, rubygems and more. First is compile CSS and JavaScript. Second is source files. Third is bootstrap CDN. And fourth is package managers. Why to use bootstrap? Advantage of bootstrap. Easy to use. Anybody with just basic knowledge of HTML and CSS can start using bootstrap. Then responsive features. Bootstrap responsive CSS adjusts to phone, tablet and desktops. Mobile first approach. In Bootstrap, mobile first styles are part of the core framework. Browser compatibility. Bootstrap is compatible with all modern browsers. Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer, A, Safari and Opera. Basic use of Bootstrap elements and components which I am going to cover in this video are listed in this screen. Thank you for watching my this presentation. Now let's start practical demo for mentioned bootstrap components. I know that most of the people are waiting for this only. Now get started with practical demo. Now open Internet Explorer or any available web browser and search for Bootstrap. Now you can see this is official website of bootstrap getbootstrap.com In this we have to click this download link So we are going to download this compiled CSS and JS file So we have to just click this download button. I am already having this. So I am going to cancel this. If you want source files, you can also download this from this page. This is bootstrap cdn. 
we can skip the download with bootstrap cdn to deliver cache version of bootstrap's compile css and js to your project but don't forget to include cdn version of jquery and popper js and this is a package manager that we can use npm ruby gems and we can use composers also you get if you develop in .NET. Now let's open another browser. Now we are going to search for jQuery. So this is official website jQuery.com. We have to open this. Click to this download jQuery button and click this download the compressed production jQuery 3.3.1 I'm going to save this in my setup folder which is present on my desktop You can see that download is finished. Now open another tab. Now we are going to search for Popper JS. Now this is the official website popper.js.org open this website popper.js now click this install v1 button now go to unpack minified right click and click save target as I am going to save this in setup folder only. We have saved this popper.min.js file. Now I am going to open this setup folder in which I am having all my downloaded files first I am going to extract bootstrap files open this folder copy this CSS and JS folder temporary I am going to paste in setup folder only then again copy CSS JS jQuery 3.3.1 min.js file popper.min.js file and copy in Apache 24 HT docs repository learn bootstrap folder In this folder, I'm going to paste all these files. Click File, Open Folder, and browse to the folder in which we have pasted all these files. So, this is my Learn Booster folder. I'm going to select this folder. Now, you can see that the folder has been opened. In that there is one file learn bootstrap.php. I have created this file for demo purpose of bootstrap. Please note that for this demo purpose, I have downloaded or used the following files. First is 
bootstrap dot js then jquery 3.3.1 dot mean dot js file then poppers dot mean dot js file and the last file is bootstrap dot css as we have already seen that all these files are present in my folder learn bootstrap so if there is no internet connected while showing demo it won't affect me because all the files are locally present in my project folder now we are going to see what are the different things that we are going to require when we want to include bootstrap in our own project so let's start with that first so the first thing you have to add in this learn bootstrap.php file is doc type html we need to add the html file doc type for running bootstrap and for bootstrap we need to add meta tag and set name attribute to viewport then content attribute is set to width equal to device minus width initial scale equal to 1 string to fit is equal to no then we are going to require link tag set rel attribute is equal to style sheet hyper references to bootstrap.css so we go to this folder css here we can find bootstrap.css same file has been linked in this learn bootstrap.php demo page then we need to add script tag src attribute is set to value jquery 3.3.1.mean.js file which we have just copied then we need a script another script tag whose src attribute set to popper.mean.js here is a file then the last we required another script tag whose src attribute is set to bootstrap.js we have to go inside the js folder in this we have bootstrap.js file so these are things we have to do before we start learning bootstrap now open any available web browser i'm using internet explorer and i've just opened google.com but it's showing that you are not connected since i'm not connected to internet now i'm going to open my learn bootstrap.php page which i locally hosted on apache http web server you can check the url also it is localhost repository learn bootstrap then learn bootstrap.php if you want to learn how to install apache http web server then i have already created a video on this please visit my youtube tech info boost channel or click the icon on the right side of the video up till now we have seen how to configure bootstrap Thanks for watching my video. Please like, share and subscribe my channel so that you get a notification for my new videos.